Information about COVID-19 and vaccines is constantly changing and updating. That's why the Mayo Clinic is hosting several free community forums to answer any questions that you may have. Dr. Richard White from Mayo Clinic is joining us now. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What is the purpose of these town hall forums? So thanks for the opportunity to come on this morning and talk about the forums. You know, really, we at Mayo Clinic um, wanted to create uh, an avenue and a platform for our community to be able to come together and communicate and talk, uh, you know, really face to face with our local experts uh, with regards to the coronavirus and particularly with the, the COVID-19 vaccine that's recently become available. What are some of the most frequent questions that you guys are getting? So, you know, un unfortunately, there's still uh, quite a bit of, of, of concern and maybe even some mistrust around the vaccine. People are, are concerned a little bit with how fast it was uh, came, came to available and to market. Um, we know that uh, COVID-19 has uh, disproportionately impacted our community and particularly our communities of color. And um, unfortunately, oftentimes for good reason, sometimes our communities, particularly of color, um, have historically had some mistrust of the scientific community. Uh, so we're really just um, connecting with people to make sure that they understand that the vaccine is available and that the vaccine is safe and encouraging people uh, to get it. And kind of piggybacking off of that, why does the Mayo Clinic feel that these are so important for minority community members? So as I mentioned, you know, we've seen a disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on particularly communities of color, um, higher hospitalization rates, higher uh, mortality or death rates among communities of color. And a lot of that reflects just increased exposure, uh, increased risk because of underlying conditions. Um, so we know that um, th that the COVID-19 is, is impacting um, all of us uh, significantly. And so we wanted to make sure that people understand that now that the vaccine is available, that the vaccine is effective, uh, the vaccine prevents COVID-19 infection. Uh, there's great scientific data uh, to support that. But unfortunately, if you look at some of the national surveys, um, of only, you know, less than uh, half of black Americans are, are still saying that they're either definitely or probably going to get the vaccine. And that's something that's very concerning to us at Mayo Clinic. What are the benefits of getting a COVID-19 vaccine? So definitely, as I, as I mentioned, um, the vaccine is very effective at preventing uh, COVID-19 um, infection. Um, the studies have, have shown this, uh, it's, been, it's been proven. There are uh, over 40,000 people that have participated in, in vaccine trials. One of the interesting things and great things about the development of this particular and novel vaccine is that about 25% of participants in, in, in the trial uh, were Hispanic, about 9% of them were African-American. So people of color were involved in the development of this trial. And that's one of the things that we're emphasizing to help communities of color know that this, is, this vaccine has been tested among people that, that look like us. Um, and we were involved in, in the process so that people um, hopefully we'll be able to develop a level of trust uh, that the vaccine, um, even though it came out quickly, um, that really was because of an emergency youth, uh, use authorization that allowed the administrative uh, uh, barriers that often are there to be removed. Um, it does not imply in any way, shape or form that there were scientific corners that were taken or that there wasn't the usual scientific rigor that was involved in developing this vaccine. So the vaccine's effective, the vaccine is safe, and we're strongly encouraging people to get the vaccine. And doctor, one of the questions that's been talked about a lot is once you get the COVID-19 vaccine, do you have to wear a mask? What is the answer to that? That's a great question. So the answer, the short answer to that is yes. Even after people get the vaccine, we know that it takes about 10 days for the body to develop what we call an, an effective immune response or for the body to develop the, the antibodies to protect against COVID-19 infection. So there's a little bit of a lag time even after you get the, the vaccine. Um, and plus the fact that there, it's a two shot series. Uh, we know that the body amounts a good immune response after the first uh, vaccine. However, the booster uh, vaccine ensures that the body um, uh, responds in an appropriate uh, fashion to the vaccine. So in that lag time, we're encouraging people strongly to consider to wash their hands regularly, uh, to con continue to uh, practice social distancing, and certainly uh, continue to wear, wear a mask um, when they're out in public. And doctor, really quickly before we go, where can people learn more information about the forums? So uh, people can go to our Mayo Clinic website. Um, we have information um, on Jan January 28th is our next forum. Um, this is specifically going to be targeting our communities of faith. We have the honor and privilege of having uh, Reverend uh, Holmes um, from Missionary uh, Baptist Church in Tallahassee as one of our panelists. And on February 4th, uh, we are gonna be specifically targeting with information to our Hispanic community 
Uh, we have Dr. Velarde, who is the director of the Women's Cardiovascular Health Program at University of Florida, uh, who will be moderating the program with us. And, all, and that particular session will be done um, in Spanish. Dr. Richard White, thank you so much for being with us this morning.